Okay, we are going to look at Tidyverse, and in particular, we are going to look at an R package called Per, and a function in that package called Map. It's going to be very useful for us today. Now, there's another command in there, a function called Map underscore DBL, which I'll come back to later. Uh, I've I've loaded up with some other Tidyverse packages, for example, Dplyr, Magritte, and Broom. Now. You could actually just call library tidyverse and get them all together. I don't think you get broom though, so we're going to use broom anyway. So just actually get a sense of what we're going to need for this exercise. Now the exercise is about a data set called sonar, which is in the ML bench R package. Okay, so sonar. Let's have a quick look at sonar. It is glimpse. Oops. What we have here is 60 numeric variables. That's what this data set is about, okay? So what we're gonna do in this data set is we're gonna try and see if we can test each of them for normality and do a log transformation and see if the log transformation of each of those 60 variables, see if that is normally distributed. So the idea is, for example, let's just pick out one in particular. I'm gonna use a, a particular one called sonar v47 okay so let's have a look at it here so sonar v47 variable 47 this is a summary of that column okay one of the 60 columns just to remark that the minimum value in that column v47 is 0 0, 0.000 okay remember that the Shapiro test indicates that we cannot assume that this data set is a sample drawn from a normally distributed population. It, to cut a long story short, it's not normally, normally distributed. Okay? And just actually as a remark, the, if we were to get the log transformation of that, that won't work. The reason is because you can't get the log of zero. So it's essentially of these 60 variables, seeing what we can do with them, and be transformed using the logarithm transformation and would that help that's a, it's a sort of exploration uh, about these 60 variables so now we can't do we want to sort of see if we can sort of speed up the process carry this out for all 60 uh, variables in one go can we automate the process so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use per. So this is the map function from per. I'm just going to clear the screen there. I'm going to copy and paste this in. I'm not going to run it yet. Just to remark, select 1 to 60 is just to pick out the numeric variables, okay? And not the 61st uh, column, which is the classifications, R and M. Okay, so sonar is the data set. This is the pipe operator. Select is selecting the first 60 columns, 1 to 60 from sonar. And what we're going to do is map the function Shapiro test, okay, to each of those 60 columns, okay? So this is the key thing we're looking at here, map. Okay, so we can map a function to whatever we have selected or whatever we specify. And again, map is from the per function, P-U-R-R-R. So let's just have a quick look at that. That's actually okay. We're off to a good start. So this is the output for each of the 60 variables. What I'm gonna try and do here, see if I can tidy this up. So this is where I'm using the broom package. Okay, so let's just clear the screen there. So what I'm doing here is adding in just tidy. Okay, that is from the broom package. And the point of it is, is just to tidy up statistical output like we've just seen there. Okay, now that's pretty good. So this is the output of the Shapiro will test in a tidy format. Just gives you the statistic and the p-value. Okay, and it also tells you the method, which is not particularly relevant here. So the next thing I want to do is see if I can extract out just the p-value. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So what I'm gonna do here is clear the screen. And so the, the additional thing I've done here is map dbl, and this actually just extracts out the p-value. So for other things like linear models, you might be able to extract out the R squared or something like that, okay? So let's run that. There we go. So that is each of the p-values for the Shapiro-Wilk test for each of the 60 variables. So what I'm going to do there is run that 
and save it as a new output. Sorry, just clear the screen there. Okay, here we go. So this, that's all of the p-values saved in an object called tests. Okay, so I want to see if they are not significant. Okay, how many of them are not significant? So very simple logical comparison there. False, 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 false. What we can do there is sum that up just to see how many there are. Turns out that there are zero. A command that actually would help you identify any any particular case would be which. Now, it doesn't give us any output here because none of them are greater than 0.05. So what I'm going to do here is, so essentially what we're going to do, see if we can do is carry out a log transformation and see which variables that would help. So what we're going to do here is carry out a log transformation on each of the 60 variables. Let's just clear the screen. Now, what we will do here is we will add in another line just above Shapiro test. And what we're going to do here is log 10 or log, sorry, or log of 10 if you want, but I'll just leave it alone. So essentially this will actually perform a log transformation on each of those 60 variables and we'll carry out the Shapiro test on that, tidy it up and report back on the p-values. Really good, okay? Now, uh, we're gonna hit problems here. Uh, we're gonna like, for example, variable, variable 47, which I had a look at earlier on. So we're gonna hit, 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 uh, hit turbulence, but it works anyway. Oh yeah, there we go. Say NAN, that is the reason it is there, is it there's a zero there, so we can't get the log transformation. But did it help at all in any of those cases? So what we're going to do here is going to call that tests two. Clear the screen. Sorry, just have it there. So test two. Any greater than zero point zero five. There are some, yeah. Which ones? There we go. So if you get the log transformation of them, you can get normally distributed variables which might be good to know, might help you. So I think that's everything I needed to say, so I'll leave it there, I think.